So we've got a question here. We want to find solutions to x cubed congruent to 64 modulus 71. And we want to know how many solutions there is. So if we're looking for solutions of this, we're looking at potentially at numbers between 0 and 70. So where do we start? Well, first of all, I can see x cubed and 64. Well, there's a relationship there already. We know that 4 cubed is 64. So let's start with that fact. So 4 cubed is 64. So we know x equals 4 is one solution. Now, on looking at this to find others that don't work, we know straight away that 0, 1, 2 and 3 aren't going to work because their cubes are not going to be congruent to 64 mod 71. But that's all well and good. What about all the ones after 4? So if we take 5 cubed, for example, that's 125. 125 is not congruent with 64 mod 71. So that's not going to work. So we need to find some way of doing this and using maybe algebra and some other techniques that we've got in our toolbox. So as we've got 64 is 4 cubed, let's rearrange this and see if we can work on that. So x squared minus 64 is congruent with 0 mod 71. Okay, well 64 is 4 cubed, we could use a difference of 2 cubes here. So x cubed minus 4 cubed is congruent with 0 mod 71. Now if you don't know the formula for the difference of 2 cubes, you can just plug into synthetic division. So let's just go through that. So we put our one solution that we know, which is 4, and then we take the coefficients of this cubic here and plug them into this next line here. So x cubed, that's going to have a 1. x squared and x doesn't have a coefficient, so they're zeros. And our constant at the end is negative 64. OK, first thing to do, bring this 1 down to the bottom. And then we do 4 times 1 is 4. Put it in the next line. And then add these two together. 0 plus 4 gives me 4. So now we multiply this one. By the number we've just created here so 4 4 is 16 put that in the next column add them together so that gives me 16 and now multiply these two together 4 16 is 64 bring that up to here add them together and then that's going to give me zero so i know this is going to be a valid solution here to try and find my quadratic so i've got here one for my a, 4 for my b, and my c is 16. So that's my a, my b, my c. So here I will have x squared plus 4x plus 16. And obviously that will set that to 0. Because that's going to run alongside here. So a difference of two squares. I'm going to have this one here, and my x equals 4. So I can write now as x minus 4, x squared plus 4x plus 16 is congruent with 0, mod 71. OK, well, we just solved this one. We know x equals 4, so that's fine. So if that one can be set to 0, then hopefully this one can be set to 0. So let's just have a look at this one on its own. So we ignore this for now. So x squared plus 4x plus 16 is congruent to 0, mod 71. OK. Now, the logical way to go from here is to take the square. So taking the square of this, we'll have x plus 2, half that coefficient, and then subtract this extra constant that we've just created, so we don't change the value, then add 16, and the rest is as was before. OK, so minus 4 plus 16 is plus 12, so let's just tidy this up. x plus 2 squared plus 12 is congruent with 0, mod 71 and now we want to get this onto this side so let's just subtract 12 from both sides that's fully legit so mod 71 and then minus 12 
This is not going to be very helpful here because we want to take the square root if we can. So let's find a positive number. That's could group with minus 12 mod 71. Well, that's going to be 59. So x plus 2 squared is congruent with 59 modulus 71. Okay, so now we've got something here where we need to find a solution for this. So x plus 2 squared is congruent with 59 mod 71. Now, I'm just going to do a little substitution here. x plus 2 squared is congruent with 59 because this is looking like we can end up with a quadratic residue. So here I could just substitute my x plus 2 to a y and say y squared is congruent with 59 mod 71. So I'm letting my x plus 2 equal my y. So if I can solve this quadratic residue, I can then do my algebra on this to solve for that and then we can find our solution for our x. Okay, so quadratic residues, y squared congruent with 59 mod 71. Now to plug and try all of those, or if you knew the quadratic residues of mod 71 off the top of your head, which is highly unlikely, we're going to need to use the Legendre symbol. So the Legendre symbol here, 59 mod 71, well 71 is a prime, so that's really helpful. So if I set my a equals 59 and my prime is 71, my Legendre symbol, which could be a over p, will be 59 over 71. Now that is not a divide by, that's just using my congruence. So this here will be my a, and this here is my p, that's my prime. Okay, so now let's go through the Legendre symbol and we'll show the reasons why we can find a quadratic residue at the end or not. So we've set up here with our Legendre symbol, we've got 59 and 71. So what can we do here? Well, 59 is also a prime, so I might switch these over and then we can reduce our values down a little bit. And using the rule, rules of the Legendre symbol, let's see what happens. So if I do that, I'm then going to end up with 71 over 59. Now, 71 over 59, I can't just flip that and just leave it at that. I need to follow certain rules. So this is my new prime now, 59 on the bottom. And one of the rules in the genre symbols is if my top and my bottom, so I'm going to call that my A and my P. So if A is congruent to P and is congruent to 3 mod 4, what happens when you flip it? Your A and your P will suddenly become minus 1 times your p over your a. So therefore now I need to put a minus 1 in front of this. So following that rule. Okay, so that's where we're up to now. So now what I've got is, I've got 71 and 59. Well, if I find a lower number that's congruent to 71 mod 59, I've then got a much lower number in the top. Well, I know that 71 is congruent to 12 mod 59. So I can now change this. So this now becomes, keep my minus 1 here. So this now becomes 12 59. So our goal is to try and get these numbers lower. Okay, so 12 59. Well, there's another rule in Legendre symbols is when you've got composite number on the top. So for example, if I've got, let's choose two number of the letters, if I've got K times M in the top and my P on the bottom, I can break this apart to become K over P and M over P. So that's fully legitimate and it still stays the same sign as before. So this minus one will stay. So 12 and 59, I know I can break that up into 4 and 3. So let's do that on the next line. So now I've got my minus 1, and then I've got my 4, 59, and my 3, 59 in the genre symbols. Okay, well here 
we've dropped lucky here, we've got a four. So we know that four is two squared. So I'm gonna change that to a two squared. Now, as we're looking for quadratic residues, we've already got a solution there. So this here will turn to one. So for example, putting down on the rule here, if I've got a squared is the Jonda symbol with P, this just equals positive one, because it's already got a solution in the residues. So this term here now can disappear. So let's put this on the next line. So now I've got minus one and three, 59. That's using this rule. Okay, well three and 59, I can flip them over again because three is also a prime number. So let's do that. So now I've got my minus one and now I've got 59 and three. So three now is in the bottom of my Legendre symbol. And now I can go back to this rule here where A and P are congruent with three mod four. Well, 59 and three are both congruent with three mod four. So therefore I need to put another minus sign in here. So this minus one now, will be minus one times minus one. So actually I'll just put it on this line here. So I need, need to put another minus one here. So these two are now gonna cancel out. So now I'm just left with 59 and three. So I need a number that's congruent with 59 mod three. Well, mod three, I know I can put a two in there. So that's fully legitimate. That's following along this kind of rule here. Obviously the numbers are different, but my modulus would be three. So here I would have 59 is congruent to two mod three. So that's fully legit. I can now change this to a two. So now I've got two, three. Okay, so now all we're asking for now is, going back to quadratic residues, is x, is x squared congruent with two mod three? That's basically what this is asking. Now I know my quadratic residues of uh, mod three are just zero and one. So this does not have a solution. So therefore, this would be minus one. So therefore, with all of this work under the Jondra symbol, we've just worked out that this has no solutions. So no solutions to this. So therefore, we've now shown with the Jondra symbol that the only solution we've got here to our original question, x cubed is congruent with 64 mod 71, x equals four is our only solution.